Hey, y'all. Well, welcome. You know me. I'm JT, Spirit Man JT, bringer of love, light, truth, wisdom, predictions, and prophecy. And today is May 12, 2021, and I come to you with an urgent preparation message for you all. Going back to predictions that I made going back several years ago, it's something I've been talking to you about a lot lately. But before we move forward, be sure if you're on YouTube to subscribe down below, hit the uh, bell, hit the all so that you get notifications of live events and videos. And even if you think you're subscribed down below and hit all, double check because people mysteriously become unsubscribed from this channel and other channels on the tube. So uh, also down below, you'll find all the links to all my social media platforms, including Subscribe Stars, Awaken Your Spirit community, where you can be a part of our community and our chats, pre-chats, after chats, and a whole lot more. So check that out down below. I thank you all for your love, your support, your chat cash, and all the things that you do to help me keep going and bringing this information to you. So we got some important things going on. Uh, I talked to you about this back in over a year ago, uh, right before we went on that national global house arrest about stocking up on food and stocking up on things. But then there came more to, to us being depleted of things and shortages, lots of shortages, folks. And this is where you have to put your thinking cap on and realize what you need to buy and what you need to stock up on now, because this is all part of their plan of suppressing us, suppressing us, making us dependent on the government. I have friends that own businesses that can't even get employees to help work now because they're getting more money sitting home on unemployment than they are working. So now there is a, a depletion, a shortage of good, hardworking employees in the United States. And of course, I'm sure this is globally. <clears throat> so the shortages are all across the board, folks, on like anything that we've ever seen or ever are going to see. And it's only going to get worse. So you have to look at the top of the shortages and the most important things. So one shortage that people aren't aware of, uh, that actually a friend of mine uh, um, brought this to my attention uh, about a week ago. So let me show you this article. A shortage on flour. Um, flour shortage. <clears throat> so uh in my prediction you remember or if you're new to this channel or new to my work then you don't remember but i've talked about the droughts that are coming and the severe droughts and i talked about this in my january 1st annual prediction show uh one of the three parts that i did and i talked about droughts affecting wheat corn soy and all those those lines of things well these droughts are now affecting wheat of course making flour Flour is going into your bread. It's going into, and this is an urgent message up for you to stock up on pet food. If you have an animal, a lot of your pet foods are made with things that are going to be affected by the drought, <clears throat> whether it's even pea flour or, or whatever. Uh, all these things are starting to happen. So you should be stocking up on dog food, lots of it. Bags of dog food and treats, especially if there's any kind of flour in it, even if it's pea flour or some kind of vegetable flour, uh, because the prices are going to skyrocket. Not only that, folks, what we have and the problem that we have, so flour, again, this is going to affect, this is in a different country right now. This is in Pakistan, uh, but this is affecting us and it's going to affect us. It's affecting India. Uh, it's affecting all across the board, folks, uh, everything. So and that's one of the things I said for prepping and preppers. It's good to have enough flour, sugar, and eggs, chickens, if you can. We're trying to get that in our community because it's against their rules. But we're trying to like get them to bend it a little bit. Uh, eggs and all that you need to make bread. Because if worst came to worst for your family, you have enough ingredients to make bread, cookies, or whatever you need to make with flour and such. Well, rice is another one. There's already shortages on rice in China. And they are, so much went to waste during the whole pandemic. Uh, so much went to waste, especially in China. There were factories rotting with food as their elite got fed and all the non-elite starved to death. We have that happening in India right now, along with war and everything else. But that's not the only thing, folks, and that we need to, um, I wanted to show you this article because this article is really interesting. <clears throat> you heard me talk about this a million times, right? 
The Economist magazine. Y'all know about The Economist magazine, right? Of course you do. Oh, shoot. I just hit the wrong thing. Um, a breakdown. Oh, that's not the shortage. That's not the one I wanted. Hold on. Let me go back there. I lost my page. Uh, the Economist magazine. You've heard me talk about that many times. I did videos on The Economist magazine. The Economist magazine. Uh, this is not any on... Any usual recovery, Economist explains price hikes and product shortages. This article just came out today, um, this morning actually, and the Economist turnaround continues as the country pulls out of a pandemic, but the path to recovery has been far from smooth. Shortages and price hikes across a whole range of products continue to plague consumers, and they're likely to persist in a short term. No, folks, this is going to be a long term. This is going to be years down the line that they're going to be doing this with these shortages. Uh, and I have a whole list of things that came through to me today and things I want to tell you to stock up on. Again, first and foremost, take care of your pets and your animals. Stock up on food. I'm going to start ordering a bag every week or every other week of dog food just to have it stashed up in a nice Tupperware, you know, sealed container uh, so the dog is good to go. Uh, rice, stocking up on things like that but I have a list. So this is uh, the Economist Magazine article that just came out today on shortages. Um, and this even talks about many companies across various industries claim there is a shortage of workers. I was just telling you about that. A recent disappointing jobs report for the month of April supports those claims. Employers added 266,000 jobs in the month far below the 1 million they are expected to add. So it goes to show where we're at. It's made people lazy, made people dependent on the system. And again, folks, that's what they want. They want you dependent on the system. They want you to depend on the government, on standing in lines for food, uh, for water, for shelter. And these are shortages that are coming, folks. So I have a list here. And I, I, let me just show you a few more articles, because quite a few articles here. Uh, you all know about this one already. I mean, this, this has been world news and I'm pretty sure you know, y'all can comment down below and let me know and validate this. I'm pretty sure I talked about problems with a pipeline. Uh, this was beyond what I was expecting. I was thinking more of along the lines of a leak of a pipeline, but y'all know about that and the gas shortages that are happening, the colonial pipeline, um, gas shortages, higher gas prices, panic and buying. Now folks, again, this little breach in their infrastructure, their little uh, hack that they call it, hack, which China has the ends on that. That has all, everything and anything to do with China. But at the same time, it has everything to do with your administration in the United States of America, shutting things down to, again, get you dependent on the system, to raise food prices, to raise shipping costs, to raise everything, while at the same time, we're going into a depletion of resources, a depletion of food, anything made with corn. You're going to see that come towards the end of the season in the United States. You're going to see a fall in that. They're going to blame and use cattle and, and the industry of meat because, you know, Mr. Gates wants you not to eat meat, although his favorite food is cheeseburgers. Mm, what a hypocrite he is. So some of the predictions, some of the shortages and some of the things I want to talk to you more about. Uh, huge droughts in India, South Asia, United States, Mexico, and other countries, especially countries that supply food to the United States, which is parts of South America uh, that supply, supplies fruit. So we're also going to see fruit shortages come late summer, early fall. Shortages on different berries, different fruits, and a skyrocketing in prices on that. Part of this is going to have something to do with the shipping containers. I'm not sure this information is just now coming to me as I'm talking to you, but something to do with shipping containers and shipping stuff, fruits and, 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 and um, perishables, potatoes, from South America, it's going to be affected with the influx, the, the shipping, something with the shipping. Not to mention, again, on top of that, problems with the drought and everything. A disease that's going to ravish both cattle and chickens both. Again, this is part of Mr. Gates' plan. You know, Mr. Bill Gates bought up all the farmland in the United States. He wants you to eat meat that is grown in a lab, but he wants to eat cheeseburgers. He wants to own the cattle farms. He wants to suppress you like the government does. 
So a disease that ravages both cattle and chickens both. And to me, this is a partially a false flag, but a real thing at the same time of them slaughtering and wiping out some of the population of animals for our, uh, now that we eat and consume, that's going to be part of their plan. So be aware of that, folks. You know, if you're a big meat eater or whatever, you know, stock up, have a way in case you lose electricity. Really important. Problems are going to also arise around pork as well. But part of this and part of this disease that ravishes the cattle and the chicken communities is, again, something that's GMO, genetically modified, GMD, we should call it, genetically modified disease. That's what we should call it. GMDs. I have a new term, folks. GMD, genetically modified diseases. <laughs> anyway, a shortage of batteries. Yes, batteries, car batteries. And you're going to see that as we go into the winter months where people are, you know, they, a lot of people's batteries go dead in the winter months. And you're going to see a big shortage on car batteries. A lot of this has got to do with China, folks. And China suppressing us from us getting whatever we need that we used to get, which is going to give me and take me to these two articles I'd like to show you. Major tech companies warn that global chip shortage may last a few years. A global shortage of computer chips has led to the price hikes and delays to the supply of electronic goods like mobile phones, cars, and game consoles. And major tech companies say it will be years before things normalize. That's because they're doing away with all that technology, folks. They come up with new technology. They don't want, they want you to think that that's not available when they have something that's even bigger and better. Uh, but this is affecting everything, everything, which takes me to this article that I would like to show you. Uh, and some of you may be aware of this. Somebody sent me this, so thank you for sending me this because I don't watch the news and pay attention to this stuff. Tens of thousands of GM pickups delayed while awaiting chips as a shortage continues. In late January, retired General Motors employee Joseph Jones bought a 2021 GMC Sierra full-size pickup after having driven his 2004 Sierra for 17 years. Look at all those cars piled up there, folks. Look at them all. Just piled up all waiting for a chip, a chip that likely is being held back by China. That's what they want, folks. They want to suppress you. China wants to take over the whole global you know, supply system. They want to take over all of it. And they're doing a good job. They're doing a good job in succeeding in where you don't think they could succeed. So what other shortages that I wanted to tell you about? Oh, here's another interesting shortage for you. You wouldn't think this. This is what I'm telling you, folks. It's affecting everything across the board in a way you would never imagine. Uh, check this one out. World faces major rubber shortage. A rubber shortage. Interesting, right? A rubber shortage. Lack of shipping containers. Bottleneck caused by Suez Canal. Recent surge in demand. Can the rubber market bounce back? I'm going to say no. It's not going to bounce back. Rubber is going to become a thing of the past. There were problems with rubber before in the past. I don't know if you all remember that. I just have this vague memory of something with rubber in the past. Uh, and here's the last shortage I want to tell you about. And I'm sure you people that have a swimming pool, you should know about this. If you don't already, like I'd be shocked. The U.S. is facing major chlorine shortage. Here is what this means for you and your pool. Yes, everyone's favorite summer pastime is under a threat. A nationwide shortage of chlorine tablets will make it hard for pool owners to keep their swimming pools and swimming holes up to par. Last fall, the factory that produces the majority of the nation's chlorine tablets burned down during Hurricane Laura. Now you tell me they didn't burn that place down. Remember, again, they want to suppress you, folks. They want you to be social distanced. They want you to be apart from everybody. And going swimming and playing in the pool the summertime with the kids, they don't want you to do that. They don't want you to be able to have that fun. They're responsible for the chlorine shortage in the United States. Because what is our favorite thing to do in the summertime? You know, swim by the pool or swim by the beach. And you watch how they suppress the beaches this summer. You watch what they do to the beaches. Not to uh, exclude the fact of the storms that they're going to be sending. The hurricanes that are coming early. 
I told you about that in predictions. I'll do a weather prediction video, you know, within the next week or so separately on that, just specifically on weather. But this is what we have going on, folks. Remember, we go on Mercury retrograde in two days. Two days. What else did I want to tell you? Uh, shortages in all forms of energy, which is obvious. Gas, power, power outages, power outage rollouts. You're going to see that happening big time, especially on the West Coast, California, uh, New York City. New York City is going to be in the dark a lot. So y'all in New York City, be prepared to be in the dark a lot. This is includes other cities like Sydney, Australia, uh, the UK, parts of England. You're going to see these power outages fluctuate, and they're going to blame it on this, this energy thing. It's all about energy. It's all about, again, keeping us in the dark while trying to reserve resources for whatever reason that they're going to tell you there are no resources, which brings me to water shortages. Folks, you should have a backup for water. So, you know, that's why I moved where I live. I am close to, to, to a body of water and we'll have the proper filters so that if I needed to, I can go walk and get my own water. Uh, it's just good to have a backup plant like that. You know, stocking up on bottled water is one thing, but having a backup plan of where to get water if you need it and how to cleanse it and clean it and, and you know, for you and your family. Investments, copper, there's big copper shortage. And I, there's always seems to me, because I have a lot of friends in plumbing and construction, it always seems to be a copper thing. But uh, this popped up to me today when I was taking notes for this video, copper shortage and telling people to invest in areas of copper. Uh, there's also going to be a recall on money. I don't know what that means exactly, a recall on money. So I'm thinking that they're going to recall and they want to take all our change. Remember, they tried that last year with the whole um, global house arrest. Uh, there's a shortage on change. So I'm thinking the recall and what they're going to do in recalling money is bring in your money and we're going to give you something in return. Probably a chip with money on it or a card with money on it. So be aware of that. Uh, be weary of that. We should step forward in the time of the awakening and resist on that. We should be a part of that resistance. Uh, recalls on beef. You're going to see recalls on beef, recalls on spinach, recalls on beans, and bean sh shortages. This is going to include soy shortages, shortages on anything that's made from soy, including candles. So remember, stock up on candles. Candles, I already noticed that candles have been coming shy you know, the ones I use for ceremony on my altar and such are becoming hard to get. Uh, but especially candles that are made with soy, they're going to cease to exist for a while. So these are the things you need to stock up on, folks. Things like batteries, because they're going to go up in price. Anything that's on the higher end price, you know, we like to start out small and stock up on maybe rice and potatoes or whatever. But really, you should start up high and look at the reality of what if I don't have power for a week? How am I going to cook my food? Do I have enough propane? Do I have a gas grill? Um, you know, you have to keep this thinking on because, again, this is going to happen in, in spots, you know, spotted activity. And this year is the test. The summer now it's coming. We go into that retrograde in two days on the 14th, the pre-shadow. We go direct on the 27th or 28th, somewhere around there. Uh, and then we got the summer solstice coming up. It's going to intensify in the energies. It's going to intensify in the darkness using their power and magic against us. So food shortages, all kinds of shortages across the board, folks. That's what this urgent message was about for you all today. I predicted this. This has been predicted again for a long time. Uh, even people that are, are prepping, the preppers. Well, I am becoming a prepper and growing all my own food, and I'm prepping. We do have time for that. But again, it depends on where you live. People ask me, oh, how much time do I have? I know I got to move. It depends on where you live uh, and the area. And you want to be further in, in a rural area than you do want to be close to the cities. Remember, they brought us and, and created cities and brought us and did away with rural America to get you all close together. It's easier to keep control over you when you're all in one area. Uh, that's why we need to go rural again. We need to go back out into the country, folks. We need to start farming and growing our own food and doing things the natural way. But let me just run down my list, make sure I didn't forget anything. Fruit shortages, the disease that ravishes the chickens and the cattle, problems that rise around pork, a shortage around batteries, including car batteries, shortages in all forms of energy and anything that uses energy, water shortages, shortages on purchases. Oh, there's one I forgot to tell you. On clothing, 
clothing folks. And I noticed this when I wrote this today. And then I thought when I went to um, one of the stores I like to go to, they had nothing on their racks. The racks were empty. There were no clothes. I'm like, where are all your clothes? Uh, they had nothing. So you're going to see big shortages. So if you want to get clothes or you need some clothes, folks, get out and get your clothes now because there's going to be shortages. They're going to be cut off. The the imports, they're, you know, China imports and anything that China has control over, which is almost everything, they're going to totally control that. Uh, the money recall, recalls on beef, spinach. Um, I had another one, but now I can't read what it says. I must have hit the keys. A uh, shortage on beans. Black beans, especially uh, soybeans, and again, anything soy. And that pretty much tops off my list for today, May 12th, 2021. Be sure to subscribe down below. Be sure to hit the bell, click the all, and check out all my social media down below Instagram, all those places, including Awaken Your Spirit community on Subscribe Star. Be a star and shine ever so brightly in your support and be a part of our chats and so much more. Uh, until the next time, y'all, remember, celebrate life, celebrate you, celebrate the amazing blessings of abundance, joy, and happiness that flow into your life each and every moment of every day. When you do, the more blessings and miracles you can expect. Keep bitching and complaining. The universe will just give you more to bitch and complain about. Spirit Man JT signing off. Love and light to you all. Namaste. Gotta go. Oh, I almost hit the wrong.